Misifta Yisraeli Yisrael, a record of excellence. Can there be a Misifta which features excellence in all areas? Can there be a Misifta which boasts Rebbeim called from the very best of the Torah world and also provides instruction from innovative, experienced, and skilled teachers? Can there be a Misifta which inspires the Talmidim with everlasting love of learning and instills in them abiding Erlichkeit and Menschlichkeit? The answer is yes. Misifta Yisoide Yisrael. Close to a decade, Mesifta Yisari Yisrael has offered a comprehensive program of excellence in all facets of Chinuch. We have spared no expense in providing the very best that the Olam Atara has to offer in terms of outstanding, young, charismatic, warm rebellion. Mesifta Yisari Yisrael looks for a bacher that has the background and that has already proven that he's ready to continue and to steig in his learning. Our main goal is to take these bachrim and to turn them into true B'nai Torah. The Rebbeim, they are top notch. They are the top Rebbeim you can find in any Masifta. You get that Ben Torah. You become a Ben Torah from this yeshiva. I, I want my Talmudim to remember me as someone who taught them not just how to learn, but how to love learning. I got involved with this yeshiva starting in eighth grade when the 10th grade rabbi, Rabbi Zaks, he has an, a friend line Oneg every week in Pesach and he invites a bachrim and a shir, an older bachrim, and he invites eighth graders from both yeshivas in town. And it was, it was a very nice experience and that really helped me decide to go to Yesode because I saw the warmth of Rabbi Zaks, and I saw the warmth of the other Bachrim who, who were started talking to me and you know, getting me involved and you know, being, just being nice. That really got me to make my mind when choosing a Masifta to pick Yisod Yisrael. The Rebbe Talmud relationship mirrors that of a father and a son. We as Rebbeim, we tell our Talmudim we're always available for them. Baruch Hashem, one of the best parts of Yisod Yisrael is the warmth that exists between the Rebbeim and the Talmudim. Every Bakr has the Rebbe's cell phone number, is able to call the Rebbe at any time during the day to ask him a question or just to talk and keep up. The Bakrim interacted whether they were from the same class or older or younger. The Yisod Yisrael, it's, it's mamish, one big happy family. The ongoing relationship that the Talmidim have forged with their Rebbeim. The Rebbeim shower the Talmidim with love and with concern and with devotion. And the Talmidim pick up on this, and the Talmidim respond to the Ava that the Rebbe shows. This everlasting Kesha between Rebbe and Talmud, which is so clearly visible at Yisori Yisrael, serves as a foundation for continuous and further growth in Amelus Batara. Kolo provides a fantastic boost to the Ruach HaTayr in the Yeshiva on many levels. The Bochrim see throughout the day Kolo in the light, dedicated in the light, sitting and plugging away over a Gemara. That itself uplifts the whole spirit of the school. And on top of that, when you see the Bochrim themselves actually learning with the Kolo guys, talking to them, gives them a broader view that they see that there is something, there is learning beyond high school, beyond base matters puts a different light on the whole being here in yeshiva and the whole tachlis of a yeshiva. We have a one-on-one -on -one charusa set up every day after mincha with the ninth graders. They see by example. They see what it means to daven. They see the geshmak and daven. They see what it means to learn a whole seder. Besides the learning, the fact that he has the 
chashivas of able, being able to learn with an older man. A very unique part of Alma Sifta is our 12th grade program. In 12th grade, our Bachrim joined Yeshivas Arachaim, which has a vibrant based medrash of 150 Bachrim and Kol Yungalite. In 12th grade, they are entering a new stage in their life as they become part of a full based medrash of learning three star a day and sitting side by side together with Kailo and older based medrash Bachrim. As an 11th grade Rebbe, I personally feel very much responsible that at the end of this year, Mirz Hashem, they're going to enter into a 12th grade in Arachayim and Queens, which is more of a Bismedrish than a 12th grade. The Yeshiva really prepared me to move forward in life. The Rebbeim really helped me evolve my learning skills, starting from 9th grade to get the love of learning, moving on to 10th grade, being able to evolve my laning skills, and eventually moving to 11th grade, being able to develop Bismedrish skills, to be able to move to here in Queens, to fit into a base medrash schedule and keep up in a base medrash level shear. The school's motto is always a, a misifta whose whole mark is excellence. I could see both the faculty and the students are aiming toward that goal, not only in the Midday Kodesh, but also in secular studies as well. And we also offer them a freshman center through Turo College that will offer each person the opportunity to gain college credits while they're still in high school. They can earn anywhere from 9 to 18 credits, and the goal at both schools is to ensure that they are on track and they keep up with their studies to ensure that they will get the full complement of 18 credits. Each one of our teachers is a professional, competent, trained, licensed teacher in their subject area. These youngsters should be able to go out in the world not only having a firm foundation in the Lude Kodesh, but able to handle themselves successfully in the outside world. They not only did it have an excellent Limude Kaidish program, like any yeshiva should have, but it also had an excellent and superior secular studies. Being in an environment, a Torah environment, that would be the best combination. But to get a Torah true hashkafa while getting the tools to live a successful life. You've seen the devoted, responsive Anhola, phenomenal Rebbeim and outstanding teachers, but now take a peek at some of Yisoyde's extracurricular activities that adds fun to the day and generates achtus among the Talmidim. The campus and the atmosphere of the entire, the entire Sviva over there in the city of is very, very conducive for learning. It's gorgeous grounds. There were times we just went out and learnt in the gazebo they have in the backyard. Just with like like everything around you, the nature it was, it was really it was it made it easier to learn, easier to grow. <laughs> we have reunions. Um, we meet up. We, in fact, uh, right before the summer, a bunch of us got together with with some of the rabbeim, and we had a barbecue. And this is three years after after graduating from the high school. It also shows the Kesha that we have with all my, my friends and with all the Rabbeim. It's a strong family, it really is. I got a very good Hashkafa education, a very good learning education. For all my Rabbeim in Yeshiva, they gave you a, a great foundation in learning. I really achieved everything that I wanted to achieve.